would, would you mind taking us through a typical day for Tana Amen? What, what does a typical day look like for you with your health habits? And I want to know specifically, Tana, like I want to know what your eating life looks like, what your movement life, life looks like, and what your mindset life looks like. We can go into other areas, but we have spent so much time on our Jumpstart program focusing on food. And so I think for people to hear and be reinforced of what clean eating really looks like for you, because for you, you really leave the detox, live the detox, you know, as a lifestyle. So I would like to really hear about your food, what your fitness looks like, and how you keep your mindset afloat. You've mentioned a few things, but, and you can talk about more. I think I'd like to hear about your sleep routine too. Mm -hmm. So dive in a typical day for you on this. We're going to be very, very bored because <laughs> um, life is, is very routine over here. It's very routine. But routine works for me and it works for us. So um, yeah, we wake up every morning and mornings are, we have two family times during the day. When we first wake up, so we make an almond milk latte, half calf almond milk latte. Um, I've taught my husband how to do that. So he makes me one every morning. It's so great. I wake up to that with cinnamon on it. And He's so proud about it too. He just has a smile from ear to ear that he gets up in the morning and he thinks of his wife first and he makes you this delicious, healthy latte. And he almost always asks me, did I tell you I love you today? And if he forgot, if he got up before me and left, I'm like, you may be my coffee. That, that was telling you love me. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what we do. And we get together with all the kids. And now that the weather's nice, we're in Southern California, the weather, weather's amazing. We go outside and we have these little family of hummingbirds and we sit and talk and we do that in the morning. Kids go off to do their school. I work out. That's when I work out in the morning is right after they go off to school, um, do their distance learning. And then um, after that, I do either stuff like this or I'm writing. You know, that's when I get a few hours of something done during the day that I need to get done. Um, I've been doing some interviews and writing and things like that. I'm editing my book right now. And then I start planning dinner. Um, so yeah, we are like, I'm not kidding about immunity during this time, because for me, my immune system took a big hit through all, I've had 10 medical surgeries and I was just born not that healthy for whatever reason, my genetics, you know, I, was, I got sick a lot. So I'm sort of not kidding. So my supplement routine alone is pretty crazy, but I take my supplements, I drink green tea every day, I do warm water with lemon and um, ginger and a little cayenne pepper. So those are three things I do every day. My breakfast is always a smoothie. So that's just my go-to breakfast is my smoothie because I add a little extra fiber to it, put greens in it, a little bit of fruits, and it berries usually. And um, so that's like hydration, fiber, and greens right there, you know, starting my day off. So that's always my breakfast. Now, I'm not going to tell you that it's 100 because authenticity is important to me. So I'm not going to tell you it's been 100% like my diet, like our diet in the house probably hasn't been quite as clean as it normally is. But not quite as clean for us is way cleaner, I think, than what most people would think of. They'd probably be not want to be in my house still. Mm -hmm. But I think because and it's, my husband and I disagree a little bit on this, and that's okay because we know how to sort of work through it. Um, he would have it be 100% clean no matter what. But I, I have the, the kids were under so much stress and had so much taken away. I want it, like for me, it's about choosing my battles a little bit. So I'm not going to allow hot Cheetos in the house. I'm like, I'm not going to do that. We're not going to have crazy junk food in the house. But to give a little bit of when they want a snack now and then for me is not the end of the world. So I would say I went from 95%, like 95.5 to maybe, you know, 90.10. Um, so we still eat very clean, but that doesn't mean that I don't occasionally do a snack for the kids or something like that, just to sort of like, keep the troops, you know, mellowed out and make dessert once in a while, but our desserts are fairly healthy. Yeah. And dinners are always really, really healthy. I always liked how you made desserts. You made me feel like, I think cause I have a bit of a sweet tooth. My daughter made last week, this chocolatey thing that I have loved every single day, but it was made with raw cacao, nut butter, um, coconut butter. And it was kind of like a chocolate mousse. And then it had a little bit of a topping and oh there was cranberries in it there was a couple of chopped up nuts in it and then you put it in the freezer and then you could keep it in the refrigerator and cut it into bars and then I would put it like I really like the chocolate and berry combination yeah. and I would put strawberries raspberries sometimes some pecans but I had it maybe once a day or once every other day but I really look forward to it, it just in our fridge I think you taught me 
that you could really have super healthy desserts because you make those. Tell them about your Reese's Pieces cups that you oh, make. Yeah, the, the nutty butter cups. Those are Daniel's favorite because they're two ingredients. It's not. It's almond butter or cashew butter. Almond butter makes them a little bit better, and um, sugar-free, dairy-free chocolate. You melt the chocolate and you make these nutty butter cups. They're super easy. They could not be easier. Um, so there's a lot of ways to do healthy stuff, and you know. That's, so that's the one thing that we give in a little bit here right now is just trying to make life seem a little bit normal, um, you know. And so, so really, I'd say everything is really healthy during the day, and then there's a little bit of, you know, a little snack at night sometimes. Mm. Yeah. I have got a question in Tana, um, a private one that says she wants to know how you detox other than food with like, what type of environmental products do you use, personal hygiene products, cleaning products? Can you make any recommendations on how to stay healthy in those arenas? My favorite um, products, there's, there's several that are good, but I'd say the one that, has, that I use the bulk of is 100% pure um, for like body and face and hair and stuff like that. 100% pure makes amazing stuff. I love them. Um, there's a few. Lux is a good one, L-U-X-E, but they don't make as much stuff you know, in as many products. Um, so 100% Pure is a huge line, and they've got great stuff. Um, that's my number one. Um, for in for house cleaning products, um, we use um, Ecos. So Ecos is one of the ones. Seventh Generation makes some things I like. I don't like the smell on some of them, so I like to tend to like things without fragrance. So Ecos a lot. <clears throat> I also use a sauna. So I, we have a dry sauna, and sweating. I mean, just sweating, exercise, and sweating. You know, the best things you 